Ventura, Pet Detective. This film came out 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Good God. And the film stars Jim Carrey as the title character Ace Ventura. The plot follows we see Ace who's on an investigation quest to find this dolphin who is the mascot of the American football team in Miami who has basically been kidnapped by some American football team player who was a couple of years ago during that time. And of course, he's trying to figure out who stole Snowflake and also who is behind it all. This film came out 30 years ago and it didn't receive the biggest praise from critics. It's got like a 47 or 48 percent last time I checked. And over time, it did grow to a cult following. It did get a cult classic and it definitely has a lot of George's fans and I am one of them. You know, it spawned a sequel that came out just a year after this film when Nature Calls. I'll talk about that next year if you want me to do that. I know it's not the greatest film. I'm not saying it's the best movie ever made, but I do respect this film for trying to do something unique with it. And I have to say, Jim Carrey stole the show for me. He is the best thing about this movie. And I've got to say, Jim Carrey is Ace Ventura. He's just stealing the show. As far as Ace's character in this movie, he's not like the most decomplex. It's just Jim Carrey just bracing that weirdness. He does have some funny charms to him that especially these funny one-liners and catchy phrase especially that oh right then <laughs> really and especially there's so many cool moments and especially with this whole scene with the as a mail delivery guy who's selling this glass inside that box and he's smashing it breaking it doing cartwheels and just throwing up in the air kicking it like a football is Hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, we do have Courtney Cox as Melissa Robertson. Courtney Cox is an actress who, funny thing is, this film came out the same year as she starred in Friends, sorry, 30 years ago. Quite surprisingly, you know, Melissa, she's not like the biggest, like, funny person on the planet, but she's more like she's just laid back, she wants to try to help Ace on the investigation as well trying to figure out who stole snowflake and of course there's so many things going on i just don't know what else to say and of course we have sean young as lieutenant louis lois Ehrenhorn. sorry apologies lois Ehrenhorn. he's actually spoiler alert ray finkel who's the american football team they just got our sex change of course dan manro is in the same as himself so funny bizarre it's just so many quotable lies, so many quotable jokes, so many scenes, and especially Jim Carrey just goes off the script and I just see him do his typical straightforward performance he's done over the past few years as an actor and a comedian. He has his funny moments, especially with he's in the mental hostel with Melissa, trying to figure out Ray Finkel's records, he's trying to figure out who where he is and what happened to him. And he's trying to figure out all these clues and details and especially he's dressed up as a ballet dancer and acting mentally insane or crazy which i won't bet it is pretty hilarious the story is pretty much straightforward it's not much detail complexity but i think the story does handle it well it does appreciate some um fun moments to have and i do respect this film for trying to do something unique with it i don't think ace ventura is going to be like the best comedy film of the year but i do respect this film i do have a lot of respect to it and i do think the mask and dumbledore are better than this but i do think this film has a lot of stuff going for and i think i still respect this film for what it was trying to do or what it tried to convey i'm gonna get ace ventura pet detective a b guys comment down below tell me what you think of ace ventura pet detective i'm kind of curious to know what you guys think and of course guys like comment subscribe hit that icon bell for more future videos like this until next time guys see ya